The Hulk is, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I haven't worked on the Hulk. Speaking of, of things adapted from other mediums. Yeah, the Hulk, the Hulk is a tough one to describe because it was a real, it was a tough part of my career. It, that was a Joe Johnston project. It was, Joe had been brought on. They asked me to write it and they, Mark Platt, who was, who was the head of production at Universal at the time, Mark was the head of production at, at uh, TriStar and Sony when we did Jumanji. So when Mark moved over to Universal, he wanted to get the Hulk going and he wanted to get it going with the Jumanji team, Joe Johnston and I. So Joe came on to direct the movie and I came on to write it with sort of a loose attachment. The deal was, was for Joe and I to sort of bandy about ideas and come up with a plot line. And then if we liked it a lot, we'd go for it. And we'd sign pay and play deal, pay and play deals, etc., etc. So Joe left to do something else. I can't remember what it was, but he, he left on, off on another project. And I, right in the middle of my, of me executing the screenplay. Would that have been October Sky around that time? It was before that. Before that? I, I can't remember. But Casey Silver then, who was then the president of production, I can't remember if he, I can't remember what the hierarchy was at right. that time. He had read what I was doing with the Hulk and very much liked it and asked me if I wanted to direct it. And so I came on as the director and he went into pre-production. Casey then was fired and the whole regime at Universal was tossed out and a new regime came in and they did not look favorably upon the old regime's projects and it stalled and you know I had another one of these executive shift nightmares. That's it's kind of hard to deal with because it's so out of your control. It's, you know, one minute uh, you're you're writing for one set of notes, and the next minute the whole regime is gone. And you know, it, it seems like it, it happens more and more lately. But it is happening more and more, and I don't think it's clearly it's not good for Hollywood. And it's it's uh, there's, there's nothing to be said. It's just a regrettable part of my career, and it's you know hopefully it won't happen again. <laughs> Traffic arms and prop arms, and would put Eric with green makeup, and he looked like the man on the on the their corn can. <laughs> Eventually, we decided oh, CG is the way to go. Well, I just give my demands, and I'll draw them out on storyboard with storyboard artist, um, and then we will cut the scenes without the Hulk in it. Just imagine where he is using the. <laughs>